So today we're going to be unboxing the ProLeaf CO2 controller and sensor, which allows you to precisely regulate the CO2 concentrations in your grow area. When you open the box, you'll see that you've got an instruction manual, a sensor, the main controller unit, and also a socket for your equipment. Here you've got some fixings for mounting the controller to the wall and a hanger for the sensor so that you can hang it in a suitable area. Open the smaller box up and you'll find your sensor, which has a photo cell and status light. The photo cell detects day and night periods, stopping dosing automatically when it's not required. It's really easy to connect the sensor to the controller. Just push it into the bottom and twist it in to secure it. Plug your CO2 equipment into this socket. The ProLeaf can then switch the equipment on and off as it's needed based around the CO2 levels detected in the room by the sensor. Programming the ProLeaf really couldn't get much simpler. There are two main dials to play around with. The one on the left allows you to set your preferred concentration in parts per million. The second dial is for the dead band setting. This works in a similar way to the hysteresis settings found uh, on a lot of fan speed controllers effectively deciding how quickly the controller will react to changes in the environment. You've then got a switch that's used to choose between three different operating modes, PPM up, fuzzy logic, and PPM down. Basically, if you're using a gas style CO2 generator, then you'll need to select PPM up. If you're using a cylinder and regulator, go for fuzzy logic. The other option, PPM, won't be used much in our industry, but if needed, it can be used to switch on a fan whenever CO2 levels go above a certain level. So why is it important to measure CO2 levels? Well, they play an essential role in the process of photosynthesis, where plants use the light energy from your grow lamp to split CO2 into carbon and oxygen. That carbon is then used to manufacture the sugars that plants utilize for growth. Typical outside levels sit at around 360 parts per million. But plants can make good use of more than three times that level before it becomes toxic. If you've got everything else nailed down, then supplementing with CO2 is one of the most effective ways to improve yields. For more information, visit onestopgrowshop.co.uk or come and see us in store.